hello and welcome to my youtube channel so in this video i am going to show you that how you can set up your visual studio code so that you can build any firmware file for 3d printer so for that you just have to add some extension and first extension you are going to need is platform io so you can also search ide so you will find this platform io ide extension you just have to install it in your visual studio code click trust and install so it will automatically install it and after that you are going to need another extension search marlin and you will find auto build marlin extension just install it also so wait for the installation so after some time it will automatically start installing c++ extension and libraries and anything that is necessary for this platform io and auto build marlin it will automatically install them in your visual studio code you can see here the installation is in progress so on the left bottom side of this visual studio code you can see there is nothing shown here when the installation is done you will see a menu on the left bottom side of this visual studio code and that menu is necessary to build a firmware which will include some command like upload clean and build command extractor during this time you can open any folder of firmware so that you can check that it is showing commands or not so i am opening any random firmware folder so i have opened the firmware folder so you can see on the left bottom side there are no commands visible yet because it is still installing platform io and when you will import the marlin firmware in visual studio code the auto build marlin extension automatically detects which firmware is it and which board is used in this firmware it is also used to auto build the marlin firmware directly from this menu so now we are just waiting for the complete installation of platform io so that we can see the commands that are necessary to build the marlin firmware now you can see the commands are visible on the left bottom side of visual studio code so platform io will configure the complete project and it will take some time so you can just see here the clean and upload and build commands here the clean command is used to clean the firmware that has already been made and any older version is available in this folder so it will automatically delete that file so you can build the firmware after cleaning this folder you can see here mks robin folder so when you click the clean it will clean that folder that means any dot bin file if available in that folder it will automatically delete them so after that you can just click on build and it will automatically start building dot bin file of firmware that will be used that will be used for the installation of firmware in 3d printer so this is it these are the two extensions that are necessary for the visual studio code to build any marlin firmware for 3d printer so if you have any further query you can ask me in comment section and i hope you like this video for more videos on 3d printer and firmware hit the subscribe button and stay tuned allah hafiz